We often hear about land claimed by the Mississippi River, but what about reclaiming land lost to its sweeping waters? Well, right now, the Army Corps of Engineers is rebuilding islands lost to human activity. The work is being done near Eagle's Nest and the Piasaw Islands on the Illinois side of the river, just upstream from Alton. First Lord Forrest environmental reporter Avery Martinez details the benefits you could soon see. When most of us think about dredging operations on the mighty Mississippi, we probably think about economic benefits, but we may not think about the actual environmental benefits. As a matter of fact, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers is working right now behind me to restore some islands that have been lost over time. And what's impressive about it is the vegetation may actually help wildlife and also the fish that are under the water. Well, we're able to create about 75 acres of terrestrial habitat. He means the islands are born as dredges pull sediment from the river bottom near Godfrey. It's uh, almost like a vacuum cleaner. It, it sucks things up and spits it. This way, the islands are poured in. The original islands disappeared as pool levels went up. So we're now putting those back on the map. Dredging can uncover secrets and other operations found. Cannonballs and some really wow. unique uh, artifacts. When the islands were lost, so were nest and minnow habitats. The sediment dredged is great island material and clears the channel, killing two birds with one stone. Well, saving birds, actually. We've already observed a colony of interior least terns that are nesting there. So that was a formerly endangered species. This restoration grew from Army Corps dedication to use existing material. That's the integration of engineering and biology. And benefits go further. This channel was popular with boaters and water skiers, but became unusable. The repairs could revive recreation. There used to be one right there, at, right at the confluence. Spencer is a longtime boater before the flood of 93 and beyond. He supports the work. Well, I think it's fantastic. I mean, the... Uh, you know, the wildlife has enough to contend with. We contend with the river. The river does what she wants. We, we try to put it back in a, in a situation where we can all use it. Leave them with their, with their sanctuaries and, and let us share it. He's selling his boat so someone else can have their fun, maybe near these new islands. Members of the Army Corps of Engineers tell me they hope that these islands will last for at least 50 years, if not longer. And in that time, they hope both birds and fish will benefit from these new land formations. For First Alert 4, I'm Avery Martinez.